Hey, third, fourth, and fifth graders. Sorry I cannot be there with you today, but we're gonna plow ahead and we're gonna still get through this. And I'm gonna show you what to look for, what to make sure that your poster has. Remember the movie posters we were talking about the other day? We did those practices. Yep, those movie posters. We're gonna start those today. All right, let's go to the art table. All right, amigos, so remember, we were learning about how art helps us feel emotion and how we learned that nothing can quite do that quite like a movie poster all right remember how we said you get excited just looking at it all right well that's your mind and your heart getting excited feeling emotion by simply looking at a piece of art all right well, maybe not so simply all right but you get excited by looking at a piece of art and then we learned a little bit about the sci-fi monster alien invasion movie posters of the 1950s and the 1960s and how when the movies came out they were supposed to be serious but now of course they're a little silly because of the way they kind of look now they haven't aged very well but that kind of what did i call that cheesiness that's kind of they've kind of become that's what i was kind of looking for as we did this project all right and just to kind of get it back into our brain and let's review just like the posters I showed you that I that I had done over the years when I do this project with students, okay? Just to make sure we got this stuff in our brain so when you start yours today, you can be successful as possible, all right? So, let's start with, remember, the Knight of the Tentacle. How this one could be kind of serious, okay? But I, I drew it kind of cartoony, so it was still kind of like that little goofiness to it, all right? Remember your poster, no matter what you do, your main thing could be your creature, a person, the mad scientist, or whatever, okay? It is the central part of your picture. Doesn't always have to be like right in the middle, but it should be the biggest thing and like the first thing that catches your eye, all right? And then remember the title, nice and big in a bold font, not just a pencil line or just, you know, like a, a marker line. Gotta stand out, it's gotta catch the eye somehow, like we've got here on Night of the Tentacle. And then remember, a tagline of some kind. So remember from this one. From space, from the depths of the ocean, the unknown terror strikes. All right? One or two of those and you're fine. Just don't get too crazy. Not like, you know, from space, from the depths of the ocean, the unknown terror strikes and yada yada, blah, 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 blah. No one's going to want to read that on a movie poster. Okay? Movie poster is supposed to catch you with the image. The little, um, the little tagline is kind of a secondary thing. Just a little something else to catch your eye. The main thing is the picture. All right. And what else did we have? Ah, yes. Remember Dino Cow. All right. Again, there's my nice title up here and an eye catching font. There's my main creature, the Dino Cow, and my, my taglines there. And again, I, I've got three taglines kind of going on here. Two, one or two is fine. If you want to go three, go for it. But one or two will do you just fine. All right, here was the boogeyman. All right, remember the boogeyman? All right, eye-catching font. He's the main part of my picture here. There's our tagline. And remember, you can put the star if you want to put like this and you're starring somebody in the movie. I put the star there, all right. All right, remember the brain suckers there. Remember, we don't want gross, but that doesn't mean we can't have like like a concept kind of like this, but make it still we can still make it look kind of silly. All right. So again, we know the brain the, the the aliens are coming for his brain, but we can't show the grossness of that. Okay. But we can still make it kind of silly and eye catching by having other things happening too. So like here again, he's losing his donut and his pencil and his fish at the same time. All right. Title. There's the main kind of creature or thing going on in there, and then then the, the, the um tagline there we're gonna save this one for last remember again I remember there was my take on the blob monster all right the gunk remember remember the blob we looked at that poster about the blob all right this is kind of like my take on the blob again this is where I can kind of take something that's out there already and make it my own again just don't give me Godzilla give me Something that can maybe look like him a little bit. All right, change him up, but don't give me something that's already out there. Use your brain. Monster, my main 
character, whatever, title, eye-catching font, taglines. You know, we're going to forego that one there, but we're going to go back to this one. All right, remember the mustache from Mars, all right? Eye-catching font, there's the main thing going on there. Tagline right there, okay? This is what I'm looking for, colored up nicely like this. Remember, this one's looking good, all right? But he ain't done. Didn't even do anything in the background yet. Just got started there, all right? Same thing of this one. Drawn really nicely, all right, but I am nowhere near done yet. All right, don't forget, get the background done nicely. Color it nicely, guys. Draw it nicely. We tend to focus on the thing in the middle and maybe like our letters and stuff, but then when it's time to do this, you're kind of like, oh, man, I'm so tired. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm getting bored. And then you just kind of scribble through and then because you kind of did messy on the background but did really good on this it doesn't work it doesn't work together all right and you messed up a lot of hard work there do not fall into that trap okay do good here do good here if i color that nice i'm coloring this nice not just real fast all right guys do good on both parts All right, guys and gals, so Mrs. K is going to get you a piece of paper, and we're, only, we're not going to go full size. We're going to go with like a quarter size piece of paper, so kind of like mini posters, all right? Um, like we did with the sketches, pencil first, please, all right? That way, if you make a mistake, yes, you can erase it. You are welcome to the Sharpies. You know where those are at. I would not use like the great big, the big, the big Sharpies, okay, if you're outlining. Maybe if you've got a, a, a space to color with the black, all right, that, that, those, those big ones are good for that. But don't use like the regular Sharpie or the skinny one to color, guys. Remember, those are only for outlining. And remember, you don't have to outline if you don't want. It may not be what works for your, for your idea for your poster. I get that, okay, but they're there if you need them. And remember, if you need to borrow a pencil, the rulers, the stuff over there, remember whatever you use, put it in the sanitizer tub. That way we can get it cleaned up and ready for the next class. All right, again, take your time. Oh, and as I'm thinking about it, um, I'll just use this as an example. I, I don't care if you draw this way, that way, whatever you want, okay? Maybe you're feeling kind of crazy and you're like, you know what, Mr. Michael, instead of drawing it this way, I'm gonna draw it this way and I'm gonna be like all right cool but then you're like no I'm gonna be really crazy I'm gonna do it this way and I'm like okay cool but you're like no mr. Michael it's Friday I'm feeling wild I'm gonna do it this way <laughs> either way whatever works for you my friends all right I'm gonna sign off here um, mrs. K is gonna get me up and running on um, on MS Teams here. I'll probably be able to see you, but you won't be able to see me. All right, I'm sorry, other way. I won't be able to really see you, but you'll be able to see me. But maybe I'll get to see you too. I don't know, we still haven't quite figured out how this is gonna work. But anyway, I'll answer questions as best I can, guys. I'm here, Mrs. K is kind of there to help you out if um, if you need a little hand with something. But um, yeah, gonna be, a lot of this is gonna be on you today, guys. All right, I'm happy to to lend some some advice, but unfortunately, it's just gonna have to be through my mouth and not with my hands this time. All right, guys, let's get to work.